Uh, guys, fuck you, crap. it's time. Fuck you, crap. It's fuck time. You, it's time. You, the night fuck has just gotten better. It's the moment we've all been waiting for. Here we go. You ready? No. I'm ready to celebrate, Nobody baby. Cares. What an absolute idiot. Oh, my God. This is so sad. Ladies and gentlemen, please so welcome so making sad. his way ringside. I've never Brian been more Myers nervous best to be in life than this guy. Look at him. <laughs> ah. Ah. Oh my god. That's his only friend. That's his only friend. I'm oh. sorry, is this seat taken? No, it's absolutely not, Kevin. Thank you so much for rescuing nice. me here Still as we good. watch this idiot celebrate whatever he's gonna celebrate. It was so nice of Hayes to leave me this this wonderful banquet. Why well, wouldn't eat that burger? I spit in it. Oh, okay, I appreciate you hitting, giving me the heads up. I'll do it because I am so much more Don't do it. Don't do it, Jeff. Don't do it for this idiot. Don't do it for him. You're better than that, Jeff. He is a gentleman after. Okay. I think that's something we can all appreciate here, George. Oops, sorry. Absolutely amazing. I, I, Absolutely. That was a mistake. I did not mean that. I'm sorry. Yes, you did. You are really ugly in person. That's really unnecessary. Ladies and gentlemen, for those of you who may not know, my name is Adam Hayes. I love you, Adam. I'm going to let that slide. It's 2023. New year, new me. That's what I'm going to say. Here's the deal. We saw the brand new King of Combat winner, Rip Impact. Big round of applause for Rip. We saw Cranio X defend his grand championship tonight when he killed some hobbit around ringside. That was great. Speaking of hobbits, look at this one. <laughs> and, but of course, the reason why you're all here tonight is not for any of that. It's because 2022 was the year of only one man, and that is the Wrestler of the Year. The man who, by the way, that each and every single one of you voted for, not me, you, as the Wrestler of the Year. George, wipe that smile off your face, because you know I'm right. You know I'm right. Here's the deal. That's what happens when you're born and raised in Oshawa, guys. It is what it is. Guerrero Seiya, Jesse Amato, all of them. You know what they all had in common in 2022? They're all losers. They're all losers. They all lost a match in 2022. But you know who didn't? The man who was six and oh. That is six, the number six, I know you can't count that high. Just letting you know. Number six and oh. The man who is voted by you as the wrestler of the year. So please get off your stupid, miserable feet. It's the most exercise you're getting all year. Please welcome the man, the myth, the legend, the future of this business, the one and only 2022 Wrestler of the Year, Tarek. <laughs> Tarek is absolutely 150% all of that and more. What a hell of a Oh, absolutely not. Tarek, an impressive phys physical specimen, an impressive competitor. He's pretty much got it all to go as far as he wants to go. I don't know why he continues associating with Adam Hayes. Well, everybody wants to have their ego stroked, and I mean, why not? That's fair. But say, say what you will about Adam Hayes, Tarek is 100% deserving of the title of the 2022 Wrestler of the Year. No disagreement here. Here's the deal. I didn't just want to bring you out here because you're about to smash Gabriel Fuerza because Gabriel Fuerza. But here's the deal. I want to get you a little something, something to show my gratification to you because you entrusted me as your executive consultant. Six and zero. Oh. I have always been there for you for many years. A lot of people know this. I've always been there for you. I've always respected you as a man, as a talent, and I want to give you something. I made the matchmaker and New Frontier pay for this. You ready for this? Hold on. The matchmaker absolutely did not. Here we go. Here we go. For you. 
<laughs> it's for you. Come on. Open it, open it. Open it. Tarek almost reluctant to take it. Yeah, doesn't trust Hades. Come on. What is it? Turn roll. Come on. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah. That's right, baby. In stone right there. Wrestler of the Year, Tarek. Give a round of applause to this man. See, I'm very conflicted. I don't want to cheer Tarek. for anything yeah. Hayes does. Can we get, can we get a photo up? But up. Tarek deserves up. this. Up. That's that's a video camera. Photo it's up. a video <laughs> camera. You, this way? That's a video camera. Oh, oh my god. Let's get down to business, shall we? Because that's what you are. You're a man of business. <laughs> Gabriel Fuerza, El Diablo. It's time for you to dance with the devil in the pale moonlight and get punched, kicked, and chopped by this man. Send his ass out here. Ladies and gentlemen, his opponent in this bark ass buster challenge match, please welcome one half of Fight or Flight, El Diablo, Gabriel Fuerza. Well, the devil is here, and I gotta say, he is already bringing weapons to this fight, and he's telling Hayes to get his stupid ass out of that ring. Well, if I was Hayes, I would not take my time doing that. Gabriel Fuerza, one of the most impressive competitors on the Ontario indie scene. Yeah, look Strength, at look at Hayes technical like ability, coward. agility. Oh, look at that. Fuerza, look at Fuerza wants it so bad. I hope Fuerza gets him. Look at him. Look at him cowering behind the gift that he got Terry. <laughs> well, that's a, just the kind of man Hayes is. But regardless, let's shift our focus to the the challenger here for Tarek's undefeated streak. And if you ask me, George, Gabriel Fuerza might be one of the toughest competitors Tarek has gone up against. As I was saying, strength, agility, technical ability. This man has it all in spades and more. Impressive in tag team competition. Impressive in singles competition. I'm not saying Tarek's in trouble, but he might have to work a little harder than he normally does against this young man here. Absolutely, brother. I do not disagree with anything you said. Gabriel Fuerza is the truth, the real deal. We broke this news on the Street Talk Wrestling Convention Show. And I gotta say, I was so excited when the matchmaker sent me that promo to tell me exactly who was gonna be stepping up to the plate. And I really do hope, I really do pray, that Gabriel Fuerza, the devil, takes Tarek straight to hell for that one, two, three. And very well may end up being the case here. But at the end of the day, we're looking at Tarek versus Fuerza. This is a match that regardless of who comes out on top, the fans are the ones who truly win. Oh, absolutely. Could not agree, disagree with you at all. This is going to be a treat for everybody. What a way to kick in the new year. And I couldn't ask for anybody by my side better than you to call this one down. You know what, jo George, a few times we've been here together calling the action. It's always been my pleasure as well. And the fact that Hayes isn't here is just a bonus, let's be, let's be frank. Absolutely, he's gonna get there, he's gonna hand him around the ring, he's gonna try to get Fuerza's head. But the minute Fuerza gets his hands on him, that's when Tara will step in. That's when Tara uses Hayes. Tara can be but he likes to have Hayes out there for distraction. Never hurts to have an insurance policy, but the, the chain wrestling between these two competitors starting things off here, Tara come on out on top. But creating some separation, giving Fuerza a bit of room to catch his breath there. Look at the, look at the, look at the grin on this idiot's face. This is what happens when you're mother and father and brother. I'll leave those comments to you, not saying that I disagree. Well, everything I've ever stated on, these, on any of these shows is factual information. That, I can't disagree with that. Lock up center of the ring here. Did you know if you're a resident of Oshawa, they actually pay for veneers and plugs to make sure you look semi-human? Oh, is that how Hayes gets away with it? Absolutely. Fair enough. Well, you got Tarek here in control with that side headlock. Where's a putting on a side headlock of his own here? Look at that. He's got Tarek center of the ring. Oh, but see, look at that. Look at that. See, the ref didn't see that, but Tarek pulled on Fuerza's hair to get him towards the corner. Uh, Tarek using his strength there to push Fuerza into the opposite corner. Fuerza perched up on that rope. Well, no rules, as they were saying. Tarek trying to do the honorable thing there momentarily. Well, see, now this is this is a wheelhouse where it could be in, in Fuerza's favor, because we all know the devil does like to play a trick or two, and he could actually pull an upset win out here and destroy the undefeated streak of Tarek. Oh, very well could. 
good. Where's the off the ropes there? Tarek up and over, and both men meeting in the center of the ring with that shoulder tackle. But look at the speed of these two incredible athletes. Did you see how quick that was? It was almost too quick to call. I mean, I'm having a hard time keeping up. I always do with these two guys. But you know, Tarek's gonna have a slight strength advantage in this match here. Oh, absolutely. Where's the caller for one more? He wants to show that he's got just as much strike. And you know what? You're right. Tarek may have the strike advantage, but the fact of the matter remains, I think the speed advantage is that's by a little bit does go to the depth. Oh, that it does. And he's very precise with all of his moves. He knows exactly where to hit you to make it mean the most. Tarek coming off the ropes with that detonation kick. Trying to go for a cutter of sorts. Flair's a push to move and a shoulder tackle from Tarek. Mr. Punch Kick Chop himself. And look at Hayes gloating like he did something. Like he had anything to do with what just took place in this ring. Well, if you ask Hayes, the greatest thing that's ever happened is whatever he did five minutes ago. But nonetheless, Flair's a well, trying five, to... five minutes is about his time. You've been just talking said. to his wife, eh? I have been. Fair enough, fair enough. And Flair's a up and over as Tarek yep. charges into the corner. Lariat from Fuerza. Trying to toss Tarek into the corner. Tarek reversing it up and over by El Diablo. Off the ropes, oh, ducks underneath. Oh. And a beautiful wow. Hurricane Rana wow. from El Diablo. The That's Lucha right. style. That's right. Look at Fuerza. He's already dissecting Tarek. He's already picking apart his next spot. What, what is he going to attack next? Trying to get the upper hand and try to keep the momentum going in his favor. Yeah, Fuerza possibly going for that Fuerza bomb. Whoa. Oh, look at that nasty Lariat. Look That's exactly... That. What I'm talking about, the precision Look at that. of that he lariat. Got all the Tarek sweat pipe in that. Look at Hayes. Look at the sweat. The sweat in the fake hair. It's dripping, off, dripping off his forehead right Oh, now. but Fuerz has got something on his Whoa. mind. Oh, no. Oh, he ducked his sweat underneath. Uh -oh. Landing in the oh. front row there. Tarek going for a fireman's carry, but Fuerz a weaseling his way out of it. Oh. And a back elbow. Wow. And Tarek catches him. Oh, nasty. Got all of it. He got all of it. That's one of the things Tarek does best is those absolutely evil it's still strikes. His neck, you idiot. Go back to school in Oshawa, you inbred hillbilly. Absolutely, I couldn't agree. I live here. This city sucks too. I get it. Now as we turn our focus back to these two competitors out in the outside, Tarek trying to take control as he seats squares in the front row. Did you just see that? Look at that. Oh. You know, I hate to admit it. The devil's not looking very good right now. And the devil's always got a trick or two up his sleeve. And there's the chop. These fans asked the Tarek to go harder, and that was, did you, like, I felt that. I think they felt that down the street at the Tim Hortons. Well, 100%. Which one? There's like 18 in the square block. All of them. All of them. Every single one. Tarek throwing Fuerza back into the ring. Why does he align himself You know, I had Tarek on my team. I had him on straight talk, and I asked him point blank, why do you align yourself with Hayes? And he said he's, like you said, he's that extra, that little extra player. And sometimes I don't. Yeah, you, you never know. Even someone like Tarek needs a bit of a, help, bit of a helping hand from time to time. Right now, Fuerza looking like he can use a helping hand of his own. Absolutely. Unfortunately, Fuerza, El Diablo going at it on his own here. Nasty chop from Fuerza. Following it up with a big elbow. Tarek reeling in the corner. Look at, look at Hayes holding on to that clack. I'd rather not. I, I, but I can't, it's like a train wreck. I can't take my eyes off it. Oh, Tarek with the airplane spin. A classic oh, golden God. era move. Oh, he's got, oh, wow, look at that. Oh! The devil may be out. Tarek's a little dizzy himself. He, he may be dizzy, but Fuerza may be completely knocked out after that strike. Going for the cover, Brad Myers making the count, but a kick out at one. Tarek taking a little bit too much time. He's better be careful right now, or Brad Myers is going to eject him, and I hope he does. Yeah, Brad Myers, one of the best in the game. Taught me everything I know. Absolutely, you did fantastic. Oh, thanks, George. I appreciate it. Why is he showing Tarek that much? 
That's a dollar store plaque, by the way. So if the matchmaker did pay for that, he didn't shell out too much. The uh, thing is, Hayes being in that ringside, trying to show Tarek that plaque, could end up coming to bite him in the ass. One of that suplex, holding him there for that, that split second. And a lot of people sometimes don't understand that, that aspect of the suplex. Holding an opponent up there for those extra couple seconds, but rushing to your head, you get full force. Oh, absolutely. Now Flores is trying to get back up to his feet. Tarek in firm control of this contest, this main event match. I gotta say, the devil's pretty good at taking uh, take insurmountable amounts of punishment. He's also not one for the shit talking. Oh no, Fuerza does all of his talking in the ring. That's all he needs to do if you've ever seen him. And if you haven't, you're in for one hell of a treat because these two are putting on one hell of a fight. This is a great way to end our first show with these two in the ring. Oh, absolutely. Both these men completely main event worthy. Where's a perched up on that second rope? Tarek has that's some what nasty intentions. Me because I know what happens every time he perches somebody on that rope. Oh, and this could be it. Look at that! Wow. Backpack stunner, but where's a rolling him up and a kick out at two and a half. Well, there's that trick that we're always talking about with the devil. You never know what to expect. Don't turn your back because he'll come back to hurt you. Uh, Fuerza is shooting Tarek into the opposite corner there, but Tarek coming out of it. Schoolboy of his own following it up with a nasty chop to the chest of El Diablo. And that's what makes Tarek so dangerous. Anytime one of his opponents gets any bit of momentum, he's right there to shut it down. Yeah, that is one of the big advantages that, that has taken Tarek to that undefeated record and that 2022 Wrestler of the Year here in New Frontier. You know, the fans voted for it. I'm sure they did vote correctly. How many times do you think he's voted for it? I'm guessing about seven or eight, at least. Yeah. Assuming he can count that high. No, he can't. He went to school in Oshawa, dude. <laughs> <laughs> now Tarek standing tall. Fuerza trying to work his way up to his feet. Tarek kind of giving him a helping hand, but probably doing just to dish out more damage. El Diablo trying to find any way to get back into this match. And this is where we go. Oh, we've seen this before, haven't we, Kevin? Many times from oh, Tarek. Now we have Tarek perched up on that second rope, and this never means anything good for his opponent. And going for that knee, but Fuerza able to get out just in the nick of time. And that slingshot going for the cutter. Tara catches him. Over the top rope goes Fuerza. Oh, oh and a beautiful Insiguri. Vintage Gabriel Fuerza right there. Now we capitalize. Here we go. And the slingshot drops him with the cutter. He got it. Oh, Shooting star press. This is it. This is it. Oh, my God. I thought it was. Oh, Fuerza seeing that undefeated streak flash before his eyes. I think Hayes almost had a heart attack. I think all the gravy that he's been eating, probably sweating it out out there. Right? I mean, that's definitely not going to help. But now Fuerza possibly going for a, uh, a submission move there. But Tarek having it scouted. One full steam ahead. Devil and Fuerza. Oh. oh, beautiful. Insult slam, cover, and a kick out at two and seven eighths. I've seen Fuerza put people away with that move before. Tarek being able to kick out of that just shows you just what kind of competitor he is. Fuerza's got to keep his composure right now, though. I get it. Frustration is setting in. These two have been taking each other to the limit. But he's got to stay composed, and he's got to not let Hayes or Tarek get in his head and just go about his business. What is that doing, Tarek, going into the same position? Well, it's not something we see very often. It's going to take a competitor like Fuerza to put Tarek in this position. Well, Tarek's eyes are looking a little glossy right now. i got to say, he's oh. definitely, definitely been taken to the limit here tonight. Uh, Fuerza trying to go for that Fuerza bomb. He knows if he hits that, it's over. But Tarek just doing anything he can to make sure he doesn't fall victim to it. Oh, what a forearm shot there on Fuerza. Derek now, full head of steam, Irish rip, and oh! And Fuerza so. turning it around, oh. and missing. Here comes Derek, full steam ahead, with that flying European uppercut wow. off the ropes. Fuerza ducking underneath, Derek, that disaster kick! This could be it for Fuerza here, two! Oh! Brad Meyer says two.
He is totally serious, Hayes. Deal with it. Couldn't have said it better myself, Kevin. Thank you. Ah, uh, Tarek. Slowly working his way up. Fuerza hasn't moved an inch since taking that move. And these fans showing their appreciation to these two warriors right now, giving us all they got and then some in this match. They've literally hit each other with everything, all their signatures, and nobody's been able to put each other away. Oh. Hayes there giving Tarek a couple words of wisdom there. And talking to the only person in the audience that'll speak to him, that weird yeah. in the corner over there. I have no idea why. Uh, Tarek trying to make sure he stays in control. He, I think we're going to see some, uh, as you were saying earlier, vintage Tarek. Where's a hung up on that rope? And oh, going for air Tarek, but no one's home. And where's a once again? Where's it now? Full force. He is angry. You can hear it. He's just ready to go. Firing on all cylinders, Kevin. It's going to be the oh. So, group. Oh, and the where's a ball? Oh, he got it. Draws him with the power bomb, going for that Boston crowd. Oh, he got oh. center of the ring. Tarek's got nowhere to go. Has him locked in that lion look tamer. Ace, look at Ace trying to reach out. Trying to, oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. Eject him, right? Eject him. And this is my oh, fucking oh, and I here. hope he gets him. Get him, get him, get him. Game of cat and mouse. Get him, get him Fuerza, get him. Do what we all want you to do, Fuerza. Why does he scream like a five-year-old girl? Because he is a five-year-old girl. You should know that more than any of us, George. That's true. Thank you, Kevin. You corrected me. That's bullshit. And Fuerza doing the honorable thing. He could be using that chair, but no, absolutely chucking it down. Trying to show that he does not need that to pick up the win. Not a good idea on Fuerza's part right now to be riling up Tarek right now. Tarek does not need to be told to be a man. Regardless, though, this match is finally going to be even because Hayes is nowhere in sight. Yeah, and if Hayes knows what's best for him, he will not be coming back out here. But now we're down to what we all came here to see, Tarek and Gabriel Fuerza, the center of the ring. He got all of that shot on Fuerza there. Now how is Tarek going to follow up? It's taking a bit of time. You, of all people, want to talk shit. Oh! A little, little bit of a meeting of the minds here. And Fuerza up and over by Tarek. Oh, oh Tarek up. has him up. We've seen this before. The detonation kick. He's not over. He's going for it all. Laid it all on the oh. line here, Kevin. That big oh. knee off the second rope. This could be it. Two and three. And the undefeated streak continues. I may not like it, but I can't, I can't deny it. Terry is the outcome. It's true. But I will say this. Hands down. That was the top of the This may be thus far. But here comes Hayes with his dollar store black. Well, absolutely, like you were saying, the toughest challenge he has faced, Fuerza, one of the he top had, talents in maybe not just Ontario, all of Canada. And Tarek just put him down. You know, give credit where credit's due. Congratulations to Tarek for that. His undefeated streak now goes to 7-0. What a way to start 2023. And I got to say this, if Tarek is not due for a title, title conversation, I don't know what the match is. Because he is the only person on this roster that is undefeated. He's calling for the mic. Yep. Tarek wants the mic. He's got Tarek has some say. words for the people. It's not something we see very often. Let's see what Tarek has to say. Where's the holding on to that chair? He's definitely telling me he's not far from over. Since Hayes, you seem to think you always wanted to talk it out of two. How about. Tonight you just rest yourself, man. Look pretty. Hold the award for me, okay? It's very difficult for him, I know. Yeah, okay. Last year, I showed what pretty much has been known to people all along. That I am a phenomenal professional wrestler. Can't deny that. Absolutely cannot deny that. One of the best in Ontario. People hated me. I was learning. I was getting better. 2016, people continued to hate me. I was learning and getting better. 2017, people could not deny me because I was that good. 2018, 
I want all of your guys' respect, and it's been nothing but uphill. Two years of a pandemic, that don't mean shit, man. I have just started a new frontier. You're gonna find out, just like everybody else in the back, where I am a true main event star, Mr. Punch Kick Chop, and Adam Hayes. Punch Kick Chop, done. Strong words from Tarek to end off the night here. Absolutely put the entire locker room on notice as if they weren't already on notice. What a night. What a show. KOK tournament. We got our winner, Rip Impact, who's the new number one contender to the grand championship. Tarek's undefeated streak continues and one hell of a fight with El Diablo Gabriel Fuerza. And I got to finish off the night with somebody who actually knows the entire alphabet. Thank God, Kevin, you were here to save this debacle of a Well, as I was saying, always a pleasure to be here with you, George, and it's always a pleasure to be as far away from Hayes as absolutely humanly possible. 100% could not agree more. Yeah, I think he's trying to see if there's something.